He was one of the voices featured on the chart-topping hit Mayo, and it was an incredibly successful introduction of young Swiss to music fans. Now he's working towards making sure nobody forgets his name. Swiss, first and foremost, let me say congratulations for a banging start to the year. The performance at the Metros, the outfit at the Metros, both were amazing. That outfit, that almost got me in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Up till now, looking back on your career, what would you say were some of the highlights? Being on the hook of one of the biggest songs in South Africa, Mayo. You know, so that, that was something else for me. And also featuring KO, that's one guy I've always wanted to work with, you know, got to feature him on my EP. You know, that really did great things for me as well. I must say, you've got quite a distinctive look and a standout style. You're originally from Cameroon, right? Tell me more about your roots and how you found hip hop. Guess I've always been a fan. I mean, when I was, I was just a little boy, I could have really like recite rap lyrics and stuff, you know, like was like a thing for me. And yeah, I guess that's where the, the love for hip hop started. And then when I got here in grade 10, that's when I started writing my, my lyrics, my own songs. So the game is quite competitive right now. I'm sure you have to keep putting out those hits. Can you show me what your process is like and what you might be working on right now? Ready for this? Yeah. But you gotta like, you know, keep this a secret because hey. I'm gonna show you a lot of things that, you know, these artists don't know. You know, I don't want anyone biting my stuff, so. Oh, okay, I can keep a secret. Ah, right, let's go. Let's go. His debut EP called Bottom Baby features collaborations with Nadia Nakai and Stanley Eno, and it's helped develop his sound and fan base. If you like it, tell me. If you don't like it, don't tell me. Okay, let's see what it's right. like. See, that's what I'm talking about. The 808. <laughs> I've okay, I give them one. Good. I give them one a ten out of ten. Yeah. Liking. The world of hip hop gives a sense of reckless living and self indulgence, but there's a growing trend for hip hop artists to explore family life, politics, and emotional struggles through their lyrics. What do you think it is about hip-hop that really speaks to young people? I think a lot of people find it in a time when they need something to help them. I think it's the realness in it and also the poetry side of it, of rap. You kind of relate to, to people's stories and, you know, that just makes you fall, fall in love with the art even more. A lot of people seem to think of hip-hop lifestyle as being really flashy, but what I love about you, that actually you're really quite chilled. So what do you think are some of those misconceptions about this kind of music and lifestyle? People treat like hip-hop as if it's, you know, it's gangsterism or, you know, but it's really not that because it goes way back. It's like, it's almost like the, the, the struggle songs that our parents used to sing, yeah. I mean, that's, that was the same for, for Americans back in the day. So, like, hip-hop is a big thing to me. It's not just baggy jeans and, you know, and chains and stuff. So you've had a really strong start to the year. What can we look forward to going forward? A whole bunch of videos, music videos. I feel like people need to see me more. So um, I need to give them visuals. Probably an album, because my fans have been asking for an album, and I feel like I owe them one. I have this feeling there's one more song that you can add on your new album, <laughs> OK? <laughs> yeah. And it's a freestyle, and I think oh, the man. concept he's... has something to do with a breakfast <laughs> he just, show. You just keep making me Called rap. Espresso. <laughs> and I think we should start it off with the freestyle. Let's try it. Got my vest on, I'm chilling with espresso. I got to fly to catch, I'll even fly with the Air Force. Rappers flow fast, but young so let's try to stay slow. You already know I'm too much, man. Case closed. That's what's <laughs> up. I like Thank that. Thank you so much. Hey, oh, my goodness. Cool. It's been great fun hanging out with Young Swiss. He's the hottest thing in hip-hop right now, and I'm pretty sure next time he had a club, he's going to get you dancing. So get familiar with this man, because he ain't going anywhere.